In this video, let's understand about the Google SSO configuration in your Fedina instance. Google single sign-on method allows you to log in using your Gmail ID into your Fedina account. The first and foremost thing that you need to do is you should have a profile in your Fedina instance and the email ID or the Gmail ID should be registered in your Fedina account. Now let's go through the setup, the configuration part of Google SSO in your Fedina system. For this, you need to log into your account's panel first using your username and the password. I'm logging to my account by using the username and password. So you will be redirected to the dashboard of your Fedina account's panel. Now, you should click on the username on the top right. You can see here, click on that and now go to company option available here. And navigate to the plugin settings part and you can see there is something called Google OAuth is coming up with a place where you can enter client key and a client secret. Here, we need to get, we need to generate a client key and a client secret from Google. In order to generate a client key and a client secret, you should go to the URL console.developers.google.com. Now, navigate to this particular URL and you should log in using a Gmail ID to your account. I'm just logging into my account for configuring Google SSO in my Fedina instance. Enter your email ID and enter your password over here. After logging in, you can see a dashboard like this. And the first thing that you need to do is you should click on this particular drop down and click on new project over here. In order to generate a client key and a client secret, you should have a project with you. So here you can see a project name I have created. I'm just creating Fedina single sign on. So this is my project name I'm giving any name you can give it here for generating the client key and the client secret. Now click on create. So project will be created. You can see this progress over here. That means the project is creating now. And once it is created, you will get one notification over here. So currently you can see a one notifi notification is coming up where you can now click on this particular drop down again and you can choose the project that we have created right now. Click on this. Now you're inside this particular project. So we need to generate a client key and a client secret for configuring the single sign on method in your Fedina instance. For that, just click on credentials over here. Now click on create credentials and choose OAuth client ID. So you can see here in the accounts panel, we need to configure the Google OAuth so that you need to choose OAuth client ID from that. The next option, you need to choose web application since Fedina is a web application. Before selecting this, you can see it has got disabled here. You need to configure the consent screen first and I can click, click on configure consent screen over here and now mention the product name here. I'm just giving Fedina as the product name and I'm just saving it. So once it is saved, you can just select a web application from here. And now the things that it, you need to mention over here is one is authorized redirect URIs. So in this accounts panel, we have multiple instance or multiple schools. So these are the schools I'm having and I can create Google SSO setup for all the schools in a single page. That's why we are doing under the username company option, you will be doing here in plugin settings. So this Google OAuth configuration will be affected all the schools that you have created under this accounts panel right now. I'm generating it by going to the console.developers.google.com and I'm entering here authorized URI, which will be the instance URL of your Fedina. So let's take here. Here you can see this is one of the URL that you can take from here, which is this one. So I can copy this. I can paste it over here. So you should include HTTP over here and you should have 
a keyword called authenticate after after entering the URL. So now you can enter multiple URLs in case you want to configure the SSO for multiple instance. Once you entered all the URLs, just click on create. Now you can see you will be getting a client secret and a client ID that I have generated over here. Just click on this particular icon for copying this thing and come back your accounts panel and go to company, then go to plugin settings. So client ID that we have copied from here is nothing but the client key that you need to co paste over here. The next thing is client secret that we have already generated and you can just copy this, paste it over here. Now click on save. So now the SSO configuration has been completed. You can straight away log in using your Gmail ID. So now I'm just going to the instance where I can show you an example of the single sign on. You can see this is the uh, login page of my Fredina instance and I can click on sign in using Google option here. So I can just click on Google. So it will ask for a Google account to log in. So currently you can see it is already logged in because I have logged into my account and which is admin user. And if it is not logged in, it will ask to enter a Gmail ID and a password based on which Fedina account will be loaded. And now I need to show a few things. Once you logged in using your Gmail ID, you can access your Google Drive inside your Fedina instance. For accessing Google Drive, you can click on menu and you can just go to collaboration. Under that, you can go to Google Docs. So your so the content of your Google Drive will be loaded over here in this. You can see these are the contents of my Google Drive, which is directly loaded in my Fedina account. From here, you can delete it or you can download it for further usage. So in case you want to upload a new document, you can just click on upload document and using Fedina upload option, you can just upload the document to your drive. And that's it. Uh, the configuration of your a Google SSO and how to log in using your Google uh, credentials into your Fedina account. And one more option I should tell you under menu administration and navigate to the settings page. Under the general settings page, click on general settings now. And under this, you can see at the bottom one option called enable Google SSO. In order to show the sign in using Google option in the login page, you must enable this particular checkbox. Let's say I'm not enabling this. I can just update it now and I'm trying to log out. So here you cannot see the sign in using Google option over here. It was there before then. Now, if I'm enabling that in the general settings page, I need to navigate to the settings page and general settings then enable single sign on over here. Even if you have configured it in the accounts panel, which will not be enabling unless you check this particular checkbox. That's it about the configuration of Google single sign on in your Fedina account. Thank you for watching this video and be tuned for more videos.